If you just joined us, thank you so much for staying with us. Well, Zimbabwean President Emerson Nagangwa has met with Commonwealth Secretary General uh, Baroness Patricia Scotland. Uh, the meeting has raised hopes uh, for the government of Nagangwa, which has been campaigning to get accepted back to the Commonwealth after its withdrawal in 2003. The Secretary General told the media that the Commonwealth was ready to welcome Zimbabwe back into the bloc after some processes that are underway and hopefully uh, will be concluded. Zimbabwe withdrew from the Commonwealth in 2003 after disputes with the West on the land reform process, which was marked by violence and loss of lives. But joining us from Harare is our Zimb Zimbabwean correspondent, Lala Nguenya. Good morning, Lala. Can you bring our view viewers up to speed with the outcome of that meeting between President Mangangwa and the Commonwealth Secretary General? Uh, good morning, Oluchi and Joe. Okay, so at, at, at this moment, um, it seems like everything has been kept under wraps. There's not much information that has come out, except for that one statement that the Secretary General uh, said to the media uh, that, uh, you know, the Commonwealth was ready to welcome Zimbabwe back. However, Zimbabwe needed to complete certain processes before it is accepted back into the Commonwealth. But obviously, this is good news for Zimbabwe. And um, the mere fact that uh, the president, Emerson Nangagwa, was was invited to this uh, international gathering of world leaders in over two decades of any uh, president in, in Zimbabwe, any leader in Zimbabwe being invited is quite a big step. And um, uh, as you have been watching this past few days, the, the media in Zimbabwe has actually been celebrating that the myth that he was invited is a step in the right direction. Mm. All right, it's been 18 years uh, since Zimbabwe withdrew from the Commonwealth, uh, Lala. Uh, why is President uh, Nagangwa pushing to rejoin the bloc? What has actually changed now? Okay, so if you if you remember when President Nangawa uh, took over from the late uh, first president, long-serving president uh, Robert Mugabe in 2017, or rather in 2018 when he was then uh, elected and, and and got into office, he he promised that you know what, whatever happened in Zimbabwe, especially in the early 2000s with the land reform and human rights violations and loss of life needs to be forgotten. People need to reconcile, people need to move on, and Zimbabwe needs to stop being an island. It needs to get back in the world and be seen as the breadbasket of Africa that it was in the 70s and in the 80s and in the early 90s. So his his mission has been to, to have Zimbabwe really admitted into these international bodies and as well as to open Zimbabwe for business. And he's continuing with that mantra right now in Glasgow. He's meeting different leaders and business people and investors, and he's calling them to actually come back to Zimbabwe and, and invest because there's so much that Zimbabwe has to offer. I personally think that uh, um, this is for him to say, okay, let's open up Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe doesn't need to stay isolated from the rest of the world. And the negative publicity that uh, has, you know, has been part of, of Zimbabwe for years needs to change. There needs to be positivity that is coming out of Zimbabwe. All right. Now, Lala, looking at this move, could it be related to the outcome of the visit of the UN envoy, Elena Dohan, to Zimbabwe? Okay, so, you know, everything seems to be happening um in a way in a very short space of time and it's it's quite a lot to try and, <laughs> and catch up with you know uh because the the alena johan was here just over a week ago and when she got back she gave a, a preliminary report calling for the lifting of sanctions then the next thing uh the the president is at the commonwealth but however remember the invite came months ago for him to attend the, the the commonwealth but yeah it's quite interesting that everything is sort of like happening round about the same time and a uh, president Mnangagwa has actually made it a point to, to take advantage of this invite and on in his speech yesterday when he was addressing fellow delegates he called on the lifting of sanctions and he said the lifting of sanctions will actually play a big role in Zimbabwe's fight against climate change. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Nala, for the insights. Uh, 
We will look forward to hear what the outcome will be in the coming days. Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you.